hey what's up guys david here from dignited well today i want to talk about my google one subscription and what's happened after my subscription has expired all right let's get into this now google offers 15 gb of free storage to anyone and this 15 gb actually works across all google services and that includes uh, google drive gmail photos sheets and so much more all right so recently my subscription mm. expired i have been subscribing to 100 gb per month which is two dollars per month so what happens if you cannot pay that fee well it turns out your emails will stop working all right yes you can see here you'll get this really big banner here that says you'll stop getting emails on october 4th this is september all right and it says that you don't have enough storage and starting on october 4th emails sent to you will be bounced back to the sender and can't be recovered and of course you have two options either to get more storage which is actually to enable your subscription or renew your subscription or to clean up space here so this leads to the google one uh, page here and it shows us the subscription plans you have 15 gb which is free for everybody and it cuts across photos drive and gmail then you have the basic plan which is 100 gb and it is about two dollars per month all right and then you have the standard which is 200 gb and that is about three dollars per month here and then of course you have premium which is 2 tb here right so it says your uh, membership is temporarily paused and it gives you the option now to update your payment method so what happens if i actually don't renew my subscription well it turns out that you lose access to additional storage that comes with your google one plan and your account reverts back to the 15 gb free storage shared across drive photos and gmail right so for me i think i cannot go back anymore because uh, I have my photos there. I can't say I need to free up space. Although there is that option, when you click on manage storage here, there is the option where you can start deleting like big files or photos or you know emails with attachments and so forth. And you can see from my storage audit here, I'm currently using 60 GB of storage. And that cuts across uh, Drive, which is 14 GB, Gmail, which is 12 and photos i think which is taking the biggest at about 35 gb so from here if you want to free up say photos uh, you can just click on this okay and yeah of course it goes to google photos and now you can probably just look at some of the uh, photos that are taking up the biggest space here and you have trash maybe you can empty trash or something right uh to really free up storage it's a really big laborious process that i don't want to get into because uh, all the data that i have is actually valuable so when you come to google drive here you have the same thing okay you either have to get more storage or clean up storage here of which you have an audit and yes uh, my spam emails are AGB, uh, well, large photos and videos are 14, and then large files. So you can click on review here to see the large files. And maybe, maybe you can now start deleting some of the files if you think they're not that important. Otherwise, if you don't do this, primarily three services are going to be affected if you exceed the free 15 GB storage limit. And that is one gmail you won't be able to send or receive emails and i have up to 4th october before that actually happens two is google drive you won't be able to upload new files sync or create backups right so if i came to google drive here and i said up uh maybe create a new file it says storage is full new documents cannot be created right yes so this is not possible 
and then when you come to photos here all right you also cannot really upload any new photos to yes to your google photos the backups will fail so if you take photos on your phone then they cannot be backed up to your google photos online account yes however you will have access to your existing files this will be in read only mode you'll still have access to all your existing files in google drive google photos and gmail however you can't add anything new until you free up space or you subscribe to google one you lose out on google one benefits and that includes uh, vpn okay you lose uh, access to google expert support and any exclusive offers and discounts right even family sharing where you share your storage with your family will not be able to work so if the storage is shared with your family then even your family will not be able to send emails or uh, you know upload photos and stuff right yes and, and then of course automatic phone backups mostly from android or ios will not be working anymore so that's how the big uh, companies get us hooked uh, first you start with a uh, bait which is a free service so you keep using the service keep using it until you reach that limit where you need more storage and now you have to keep paying that storage because data is the new oil it is your data it's your life it's your memories it's your documents everything is on the cloud now so yeah i have to somehow find that money and pay it to google if i need my life back that's what's happening so yes that's our video today that's a, a really quick update about my google one uh, subscription uh like this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one